yeah, today we're uh, we're doing some GeoGuessr. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep doing the streak. Hopefully it's gonna be good. We'll uh, we'll see. As you can see, a couple of things have changed. Now I've got a green screen. So right. Anyway, let's get going, shall we? Let's get going. Let's do the GeoGuessr. What a pleasant start. <laughs> We've got a cemetery. We've got some sort of cemetery. What, what an amazing start. Alright, let's uh, let's have a little look. So we've got a road sign right there, so that's interesting. It looks more Nordic, so like Sweden, Finland, Norway. Huh. Kalayoki. Ilviska. Ilsalami. Hmm. I don't recognise any of those place names. They're Finnish signs. Ah, is that is that the road number? 27. That could be the road number. 13... 27. Here you go. Here's the 27. So, hang on, what were the uh, the place names on this sign? Ilislami. Il Ilislami. However you say that. I don't know how to say that, but that's the, that's the same place name. And that's 146 miles away. Kalajoki. So we're closer to Kalajoki. We're, we're 100 and something miles away from that. Oh no, we're, um, we're 52 miles away from Kalajoki. A hundred and something away from Ilsami. So we have to be around here. There you go. There's Il Ilveska. And that's 14 away. So we're going to be around here somewhere. I don't know. It could be like right here or something. I don't know. Oh, that's the 800. Here you go. There's the 800 here. So that's what we're heading to right now. Look at that. Yeah. 800 is right there. So yeah, we are down here a little bit. So it could very much be this one. There was a bus stop left and right. Is there a school here? Could be. It could be like, you know, accommodation or something, you know? Um, what's this sign say? Yeah, there you go. That's the correct name place. Right there. That's the right place. So we are literally about here. So, how many clicks are we away from the junction? One, two, three, four, five, six. Probably about here. About there. I think. Because we've got that school on the left-hand side, just over here. So we, we, we've got to be about here. Should we send it? I think we send it. That's it. Very cool. Perfect 5,000 points. Very nice. A little bit further away, but that's totally fine. You know, 20 meters, that's... That's okay. That's alright. We got perfect 5k points. That's all that matters. Whew. Right. Let's keep going. Uh, Australia? Can seeing everyone's driving on the left. It's gotta be Australia. Because it looks like America and they're driving on the left. New Zealand? Ah, oh, okay. Alright. Alright. We're, we're in Zealand's. Okay. Alright, there you go. We are in the Zealand. Uh, I see water over there. So that's a good sign. We've got Gloria Avenue. So we've got water over there. What looks like a big city. Look at that. There's like a big needle over there. Looks like Auckland. Okay. It probably is, to be fair. There you go. Yeah, you're right. Auckland. There you go. So Auckland is up here. Uh, the 16 is what we're looking for. Here's the 16. So that means, based on where the Space Needle is as well, which is basically to the east, we're probably around here. What was the name of the avenue? Gloria Avenue. Gloria Avenue? Oh my goodness. <laughs> we're right here. <laughs> Oh, how did we find that so quickly? That was so quick. That is so fast. Yeah, mechanical repairs. Um, what were we outside of? We were outside of literally the first house about here. About there will do. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is probably one of the fastest rounds we've ever had. That is, uh, that is nuts. Oh, we did it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Perfect 5k points. Beautiful. Very, very easy round, that one. What's next? Right, Japan. Okay, this one's gonna be a bit harder. <laughs> yeah, J Japan is gonna be quite a bit harder. Okay, let's, let's have a little look around then. I know it wouldn't be all fun in games today. You're bound to have at least one difficult round in a game. Although, a train line is really good. A train line is one of the best things you can find in Geogesa. It crosses the road. This is a huge landmark for finding out where we are. Because not only can we find train stations, 
but we can find the point of where it crosses, like where the road crosses it, and use that to our advantage. So yeah, J Japan I find to be one of one of the harder countries to work out because I don't really know the geography of it very well. Suwa and Okea Tatsuno Hospital. Okay, so the the town has to be called Tatsuno. I think there was a Lake Suwa, which was inspiration for that one anime movie with the meteors. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no clue. I I actually haven't seen an anime movie. I've seen Death Note, Sword Art Online, Season One of Attack on Titan, one called Another, which was kind of like a horror horror thing. It was a weird one though. It was a weird one another, but it was good. It was enjoyable. There's one I started watching a while ago, but I never actually went back to it. And I can't remember what it's called, but it was really messed up. Like, it, the first episode was, like, really cheery and happy, but then it sort of took a really dark turn. And someone got, like, murdered in the second episode and stuff. The first episode wasn't exactly the best example, but that's all the anime I've seen. <laughs> if I had to guess, though, we would probably be around here. Probably, like, North Tokyo. I know, it just kind of feels like this sort of area. Not that I know much about... Japan or anything like that because we've had like quite a few like mountainous regions over here with like loads of tunnels and stuff and there's quite a lot of mountains here so that's kind of what I'm thinking because what I'm hoping to find is like a sign that's like like a, a, a guitar pick sign bendy triangle signs 153 guitar pick 153 west of Tokyo you say Suwa I see it you're right there's Suwa there's the train line that goes through Suwa there it is. There's Tatsuno. Okay, this is it now. This is it. We're, we're almost definitely here. The 153 is there, which we saw a sign for as well. Uh, the train line is probably this one. That uh, Everything works out right there. That, that Yeah, that, that looks really good. Yeah, because the 153 was there, wasn't it? This has got to be it. Let's just check. Let's let's make sure. So we go across a small river, which is right here, which is northwest to southeast. Northwest, southeast, correct? And then we come across a T junction. There's the T. We go right. There's a little wiggle in the road, which you can see that right there. You have the train line. Let's go. We did it. <laughs> One meter. Yes. GG. That is 13. A streak of 13. Very cool. Very nice next right okay this is bad this is really really bad right away this could potentially be a run killer i i seriously seriously hope that this road is mapped pemex okay if this is on the map pemex we we would probably in with a chance okay it's not brazil because for those who don't know big big, big brain tips big brain tips the, the, the backs of signs in Brazil are black, so that is that is not Brazil. You think Mexico? Uh, Mex, Mex, Mexico. Yeah, good point. Good point. Tacos, tortillas. Okay, could be Mexico. <laughs> you know, I reckon another piece of really important information that you could use to get good at GeoGuessr is politicians. <laughs> if you learn some of the politicians, you might be in with a chance. Because you, you see these signs quite often. Mexico. You're right. Look at that. Location Santa Maria. The thing is with Alamo is that that, that is also the name of a company. That's all, like Alamo is also the name of a, a, an American taxi company. Juana Inés de la Cruz. Educación. Something tells me they're not allowed to use all of these characters. Because like, you got like the Dalmatians. That film. The one with the, the two dogs who eat spaghetti. You got Chicken Little. Who remembers that film? Chicken Little. That was a good film. You got The Lion King, Dumbo, Pinocchio. There's Piglet from Winnie the Pooh. They're not Disney though, are they? Maybe they are Disney. I don't know. I never thought they were. You got Mowgli from Jungle Book as well. Some weird choices of characters. <laughs> we so we've got a couple of options really. We could scroll into Veracruz, which is what I think we do. We'll scroll in and just have a little scan of the area, just to see, just just to see if we recognise any name. Alamo, hold it. There is an Alamo there, and there's a Santa Maria just here. Santa Emilia. Oh, big pug. <laughs> That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. Okay, yeah, the, the spawn location is is the worst. We were we're we're on this side somewhere. And I think we're about here. If I had to take a guess right now, here. 
just if I had to. Complete random guess, I'd guess there because of that that gas station there. 65, 66, 67, 68. There we go. Okay, so it's 68 clicks away from here at this zoom level. It was 68, but I thought I'd round it up to 69 because, you know, it's the best number. Right. This is the moment of truth, everyone. This is it. We've done all that we can to find this exact location. Let's hope this is correct. Oh. We got lucky. <laughs> that is close. That is so, so close. Yeah, 102 meters. That was, that was very, very close to being a minus one. So, so close. That is risky. <laughs> That was so, so scary. Yeah, good thing we rounded up. We, to be fair, we should have gone a little bit further. I should have added a bit on. But there we go, 14. Streak of 14. It continues. <laughs> oh, no. That was a tough one. Really difficult one, but we, we did it. Did I enjoy location? No, I did not. Uh, next round. Here we go. Looks Europe, European, language, yeah, it's France. And yeah, for, for those who, like, I know, um, were starting to get a bit annoyed <laughs> the last round, which I can only imagine, I, I, you know, I completely get it. it. It's so important that we get 5k on everything, you know, like, when you get to a certain round like that, that last round, you kind of have to go to that extreme of counting to get as close as you possibly can. Because, I mean, you, you saw how close we were to um to losing the streak there uh a51 here you go uh you, yeah a51 look at that a 51s right there there will be some rounds you know that like some of the russian ones we've had where i will just genuinely ask for solid help because they're, they're just so obscure and out of the way that we won't know where they are when we're in a, a bit of a pickle and there's there, there's no way out there's no possible way that's when you have full full command you, you can fully tell me where i am uh here you go d973 so we're in petruis could be around here this seems more like the industrial area careful market there we go so if careful market is there there's jdo so that yeah so it's not the main road and to get to where we were we we went all the way there and then across and then that's the main road so there's a t there garage adept moto uh, in fact, I think we are exactly on that intersection. I think we're exactly here. Because look, that's like the entrance. See, look, that's the entrance to the car park there. <laughs> oh. Not only is that zero, but look, we got it right on the dot. We can't even see the other marker for the correct location, because we're on it. That is the most accurate round we've ever had. Like, literally on the dot accurate. <laughs> wow. The best round we've ever had. Should be in centimeters, I agree. It would be better in centimeters, that one. Look at that. Absolutely spot on. Couldn't get more perfect. All right, what did we do for time then? Let's see. One hour 43. Okay. Nowhere near our best, but that was mainly due to round four. Round four was the problematic one. 